There are four ways to travel the fretboard, and that's it. Let's just take a C major scale and explore a little bit. So when I say four ways, I mean you can go up and down, you can go across, you can go this diagonal, and you can go this diagonal. There is nothing else to the guitar. So if I just look at a C major scale, starting from this F, from the fourth degree, I can, first of all, look at it up and down. Imagine the guitar like six pianos, right? And... Etc., etc. That's one way to see it. The other one would be the across positions. Even that vision is tied to the first vision. Why? Well, to get from position to position, all I have to do is find this two octave shape that I traced with my index finger. So if I don't know how to get all the notes, I wouldn't know the starting points for the positions. So here are the starting points for the across positions. Once I get that, I need to find a way to get from point A to point B playing all the notes of the tonality I'm in. In this case, C major, meaning I'm just trying to hit F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. And then from G to G, just chasing these two octave shapes. Now, he, there is a secret, I feel like such a YouTuber. Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, like the video. It's not a secret, it's hyperbole. It's not an actual secret. All I'm trying to say is this. You need to find all the notes in C, and you need to recognize what pattern you're playing. The pattern's always three notes per string on the bottom three strings and on the top string. But because of the way the guitar is tuned, we have to make a compromise on the G and B string. We either put two notes on the G string or the B string. Let's check that out. So three notes on the bottom three. Let's do three notes on the G. If I do that, I can't play three notes on the B. I have that same note right here. I have to play two. Why do I say I can't? I surely can, but what happens? The placement of my index finger shifted position. Aha. Uh -huh. That should be an aha moment, and I'll explain why. So I really have the choice of putting two notes on the G, three on the B or the opposite, three on the G, two on the B, to stay in position. If I add anything to that pattern of three, 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 two, three, three, or three, 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 two, three, I end up shifting forward and starting to create that first diagonal. So the most initial and basic way of learning guitar, like we said, is up and down each string, like six pianos. The second thing, is to put that knowledge with our index finger on the top and bottom string and then find the shapes in between following the pattern. How do we create the diagonals? Any note we add to that pattern shoots us up one position. I'll demonstrate. If I play four notes per string on the bottom string instead of three, what happens? <laughs> Oh, so it shifts me one position. If I play four notes per string on the bottom two strings, shifted me two positions. If I just play the 80s metal kind of, you know, three notes per string shred stuff, it always ends up one position forward because when you get to the three notes per string between the G and the B, you've shifted. Right? It makes you do a little shift. So, Creating this Holdsworthy diagonal has to do with adding anything to that pattern, right? You can add it at any point. You can go three notes, three notes, three notes, four notes. Now you're forward two positions. The other diagonal on the guitar, meaning going this way across the guitar, has to do with subtracting from that pattern. If instead of three notes per string, I start by playing two notes, and then I have to find the three note per string pattern on the next string, I have shifted my index finger backward.
You see people like John McLaughlin and Sean Lane travel this diagonal quite a lot with a lot of false fingering. <laughs> There are all sorts of gems hiding in this direction too. I can play a lot of lines moving that way that sort of stay in the same range. The pitch didn't really drop or raise very much all the way from here to there. So again, when you're practicing, try to always keep in mind that there are only four ways that you can travel on the guitar. And a full practice somehow integrates all these things with whatever you do. Could be arpeggios, pentatonics, major scales, melodic minor scales, whatever. Cool. Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, like the video, comment, join our Patreon. We'll see you next time.